I'm Landon Hop on the rooftop of Denver 7. It's been a long road for the Denver Nuggets on the way to their first NBA Finals. More than five decades. And in that time, they've had several different looks. Some of them, iconic. I asked a sports branding expert and logo designer to walk me through the history of the Denver Nuggets jerseys. The Nuggets' visual history is a lot like their on-court history. It's this meandering path that takes them from these very humble beginnings. It dates back to the late 1960s when they used a simple red and white color scheme as the Denver Rockets. But the team's final years in the ABA saw a change both in team name and design. They go with Columbine blue and gold uniforms, almost lavender looking. Very distinctive and very much of the, the Technicolor and polyester age. But they become the Nuggets and all of a sudden there is this very expressive moment where they gain brand personality. They introduce Maxi the Miner. The Nuggets donned the bright red and blue color palette for seven years into 1981 when a fan contest put on by Nuggets executive and branding extraordinaire Carl Shear resulted in the famous rainbow skyline look. Clearly these are, these are uniforms that are very unique. It kind of looks like a Tetris. It's very <laughs> of its era, of course. Um, seven colors, something that we would not normally do today. That's a lot of colors. The Skyline jerseys that we're talking about are associated with some of the greatest years in the history of the franchise and some of the most iconic players. Those iconic rainbow jerseys would make a glorious 12-year run that included nine straight playoff appearances in the 1980s. But then after a couple of down years, it was time for a rebrand. In the early 90s, as new ownership devised plans for a new arena, the team changed to a simpler look, darker reds and blues. The colors had gotten darker. This was kind of a unifying theme across professional sports in the 1990s. And it has to do with uh, kind of this appeal to youth that was taking place, more aggressive logos. Then at the turn of the 21st century, that trend reverses to a little bit of a calmer look, Radom says, and the Nuggets become one of several teams to devolve with their rebrand to powder blue and yellow gold. Then we fast forward to 2018 and the modern day Nuggets look, which Radom says is a nice mix of the past and the present. They have a pretty defined look. The idea of them being the uh, Mile High City is of course extremely ownable. And uh, I personally enjoy the more uh, bright blue and gold color scheme because I think of Denver and I think about how this look really harkens back to the early days that the, in the NBA in the last couple of years in the ABA. But considering all of those designs and color schemes, what does a sports branding expert think is the best look in Nuggets history? The skyline look, so audacious, so very unique and ownable to that franchise. I think if, uh, if I had to close my eyes and kind of pick one or the other, it would be that. Landon Hoff, Denver 7.